So, does losing weight actually make your dick bigger? Well, yes, yes it does in fact. So if you look at most of the sources, it shows that you can lose somewhere between 30 to 50 pounds, you'll gain somewhere between a half an inch to an inch um, increased size of your penis. And so well, why is this? Well, this is largely because of what's called the fat pad or also known as your super pubic fat. It's basically just the fat that sits right above your penis in an area called the mons pubis. So the fat distribution in this area is largely dependent upon your your genetics as well. So for some people, they get a bunch of lower abdominal fat that deposits there, even though they don't have much fat anywhere else, kind of like the skinny fat people. For others, they put most of their fat in like their butt and their lower thighs, and they don't have much fat there even at higher body fat percentages. And so for me personally, when I first started my PE journey, I was focusing all my time on exercising and I was sub 10% body fat and I had right around about a half an inch of a fat pad. Now I have been focusing much more of my time on PE and also some life changes and so now I'm down to about uh, I mean I'm up to about an inch in actual my the size of my fat pad does this actually make your dick bigger well yes and no there's two different penile measurements that we use one is called bone pressed where basically you stick a ruler as far as you can into that super pubic fat and then you measure from that point at the pubis where basically the uh, the penis exits the uh, the pubic bone you measure from there. The next is called your non-bone pressed, or basically the size of your visible penis um, without compressing the ruler into your fat pad. And so for some people, you'll see, especially on some of these subreddits, that difference is like three, sometimes even four inches. And so to be clear, losing weight will increase your non-bone pressed length. How exactly does this make it bigger? Well, first of all, you have to think that there is number one, more visible length. And so so there's no longer as much super pubic fat covering the base of your penis and so you have more penis exposed, that's a larger penis right there. You can also have a better illusion of a larger penis. And so there was a Reddit user, I think his name was Pinto Bean, that said basically the larger the plate, the smaller the steak and vice versa. And so if you have a large body habitus, you have a lot of body fat, even though your penis is the same size, it will look proportionally smaller. Just like if you see some of these bodybuilder guys with huge thighs that look like they have a small dick, even though it measures like like eight inches. And so if you get substantially leaner, you will decrease the amount of surrounding tissue and it will therefore make your penis look bigger. You will also have the better ability to penetrate deeper because you don't have as much super pubic fat in the way. And so you can actually physically feel like you are penetrating deeper as well. Your, your partner will feel the same way. And so those are all the ways that it'll actually look and feel bigger. So there are also some additional benefits um, to losing weight. Number one, you'll have uh, better uh, blood flow, better circulation, so you can get more blood efficiently to the penis, which will lead to better erections. There's a chain reaction. I call it diabesotension. It's a common kind of doctor acronym where you have diabetes, hypertension, and obesity. Three things that go together, and all three of these things are very bad for penis health. They can damage the endothelial lining of the vessels, lead to erectile dysfunction, nerve damage, etc. And so you'll actually have better erection quality by preventing or limiting those things. You'll have more stamina in bed due to you're in better shape from losing weight. Your heart doesn't have to work as hard, so you'll become a better lover that way. And I think most importantly, you'll, most people will have increased self-esteem and self-confidence. They'll look better in the mirror. This leads to more self-confidence. It leads to better, honestly, overall attractiveness in general. I do understand that this is a complicated issue. Okay, it's so easy, especially in today's day and age, to have access to very high calorie, highly palatable, delicious foods, and it's hard to make the right decisions. There are also studies that show that sugar is actually more uh, addictive than cocaine. You eat delicious food, you get that dopamine spike, it can become very addictive. But you can always make small changes that add up. And so this is not gonna be a how do you lose 10 pounds in 10 days video, but try to find a diet that's lower in calorie that you can stick to and you can still enjoy. Same thing is to find some exercises that you enjoy. Greg Duchette, uh, for those of you who don't know who he is, that's kind of his whole motto. I've lost a bunch of weight by following his videos, check him out. Just move more. Go on a walk after dinner. Instead of taking the elevator or the escalator every day, actually take the stairs. Avoid triggers that cause you to binge eat. 
um, and find a partner to keep you accountable. Uh, if you have a, uh, your partner actually ends up being like your lover, you guys can lose weight together. And then especially when we're talking about heterosexual couples, if you both decrease your fat pads, that'll definitely lead to better penetration because there won't be as much fat preventing that. So there are surgical options that you could use as a last resort. This includes a monsplasty, which is where you're actually surgically removing the excess skin and tissue that sits on top of the mons pubis or that super pubic fat that I was describing. There's also a tummy tuck or an abdominoplasty, which is very similar where you actually remove the excess skin and tissue, reconstruct that area. You can have liposuction, sucking out the fat in that area. And even now there's cool sculpting, which there'll have to be a separate video on that, to, you know, going through those techniques. In general, I, I don't understand how more men don't choose to lose weight. Over half the population in the United States is overweight and uh, over a third of them are obese. Whereas just by tackling this alone, you would improve your confidence, you would increase the size of your visible penis and overall feel better. And so it kind of blows my mind that men will put their dicks in these contraptions and pull on them for hours or inject chemicals into their dick to try to make their dick bigger. When the one thing that would actually increase their visible penis length and help them feel better, they could be using those efforts and getting better goal, better results. But you know, I'm not here to judge. And so in conclusion, you can gain up to about a half an inch to an inch of visible penis per 30 to 50 pounds of body weight lost. There is a user, uh, I keep going by the name of 19 Expansion 2X, and he was a very overweight and lost somewhere between 50 to 100 pounds, I don't remember, but had a dramatic improvement in the size of his visible penis. And he is happy to tell you about that if you want to hit him up. Just be the best version of yourself. Also, I'm not here to fat shame. Don't compare yourself to others. Just be the best version of yourself. And in my opinion, losing weight is one of the most efficient and also the safest ways to go about enlarging the size of your visible penis. Hope this helps, guys. I'll check you on the next one.